Today we review Scary Movie. This is for Harry Movie Club. So Scary Movie was uh, made in 2000, so it's been actually 14 years now. I didn't realize it had been that long, which could also explain why I feel the way I do about rewatching it. So Scary Movie is basically a parody of Scream with some other horror movies thrown in. There's a Blair Witch Project. I know there was a reference to that with the reporter running through the forest. There's the Sixth Sense when I. Shorty can see dead people because he got too high. Um, that's all the ones that I can think of, except for Scream. At the beginning, it is pretty much a shot for shot parody of the Scream opening with Carmen Electra replacing Drew Barrymore. Carmen Electra is uh, from 2000, I would say much better than the 2014 Carmen Electra. Um, almost didn't recognize her actually. Oh, probably it also parodies I Know What You Did Last Summer because of the I Know What You Did Last Halloween thing. I haven't seen I Know What You Did Last Summer, but it would make sense. So throughout the movie, it's just comedy, really, and it isn't. there isn't anything that's scary in this, really. There are some comedic parts, like where she's running out of the house at the beginning, Carmen Electra, and uh, she chooses death over the safety route, and then all of a sudden she, there's sprinklers and she does like a slow motion running scene. I think maybe when this was uh, 14 years ago and I watched it, I enjoyed that part a lot more. Right now, when I watched it, it just kind of seemed contrived and really just not fitting. Also right after that, there's the part where she gets hit by her father because her mom's given him an old head. It made me chuckle, but it did just seem a little forced. And some of the best comedic moments come from Anna Ferris's character, uh, Cindy. Uh, also, she references The Matrix when she, the uh, fight at the end there when she's floating around, but Anna Ferris's character is uh, Cindy, and it's rather comical. She has the uh, chastity barbed wire, and then you need the hedge trimmers, <laughs> because there's bats. So the premise of this movie is they killed someone accidentally last year, and now it's a year later, and there's a killer that's coming out to get them, actually. So they're trying to escape. Throughout the film, there is some funny deaths. There's... Uh, when the fat girl is trying to get out of the garage door where the doggy door is, that's kind of funny. I don't think she would actually die that way because the garage door didn't go all the way up, but whatever. There's also uh, Shane Elizabeth. She plays Buffy Gilmore. Buffy is kind of the stereotypical high school uh, cheerleader girl bimbo. She arrives at the school totally conservatively dressed, and then once her father leaves, she rips off her clothes and looks like a hoe. And right when Buffy's getting out of the car from her dad, uh, Brenda, who is Shorty's sister, played by Regina Hall, says that Buffy's as fake as press on nails. And then as soon as Buffy walks up, Brenda's all, hey, go, hey. They're besties, of course. It's kind of like the Dan Cook joke, the friend that nobody likes. You talk shit behind their back, and once they're there, they're your bestie. So the acting in this was kind of, I don't know, it felt kind of just ridiculous. I think they realized that it was going to be a parody, and they just were like, we're going to make a parody of our acting. The tagline for Scary Movie on the movie poster had been, no mercy, no shame, no sequel. <laughs> and now there's five scary movies, so I guess the no sequel part didn't follow through. There's definitely no mercy and no shame that's ever in this, but there is sequels that have been made. This scary movie, now that I've rewatched it, I don't find it as enjoyable as I used to. The jokes are kind of just lame. I don't know. Back when I watched it, it was probably like 2004. I didn't see it when it just came out because I would have been seven. But when I did see it, I remember laughing and enjoying it a lot. And this time it just wasn't. Most recently, Scary Movie 5 is the one I liked the best. Uh, it does have Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen. I am a huge Charlie Sheen fan, so that may have been why. But Scary Movie 5 I like. Scary Movie 2 is also great. Um, but this first scary movie, it just doesn't hold up anymore. It's been 14 years, and I guess my sense of humor has now changed in that time. With that being said, this is a delete. I probably won't ever actually watch this again. I thought it was going to be a keep when I started it, but after watching it, I am going to delete. So like I said, this is for Harry Movie Club. And if you want to check out the other Harry Movie Club responses, there's an annotation here, and I'll uh, link in the description also. Feel free to check them out. I hope you do. You can reach me on Twitter at MadLFan. Use hashtag TodayWeReview, and I do look for suggestions on future movies to watch.